that's nice. What's up guys, it's RevJ again. Hatred Copter C10 is behind me. You can see there is a bet on it. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram or my build over on the 67 to 72 Chevy truck forums, you guys probably already know that. Uh, or if you've watched the other update videos to this point, you're pretty much caught up. So if you haven't, go back and do those now. Uh, off camera, pretty much in the meantime, I went ahead and threw the fenders on it and the rest of the bed. I only had an extra set of hands for part of it. Uh, so getting the whole thing put together was largely done just kind of on uh, some sawhorses. Yeah, uh, and just some effort. And so steps are back on, brand new bedsides, brand new fenders. I also went ahead and cut out the wheel well area there to make clearance for the Mickeys. I do have some tubs and a bed floor that we're gonna be making. Uh, so that will all be going in soon. Otherwise, everything else is just pretty normally bolted together. I've got some 3M seam sealer tape between there so it doesn't chafe. This is just that EPMD shipping coating, that uh, sort of thin paint type powder coat stuff that's on there. Just meant so the metal doesn't rust or, or get dinged in shipping. Here are my steps. You guys remember these from before. Of course, I did the video about the cutout that we did. Uh, unfortunately, some asshole left these outside during winter. That's a long story, so I had to get them cleaned up. There's a couple little nicks and stains in the paint uh, from those not being taken care of, so we're probably gonna have to go back and repaint the steps when we get around to repainting the rest of the bed. Uh, everything else is pretty much straightforward. It just all bolts up. Still don't have a tailgate on it yet. I'm waiting for, uh, waiting for a tailgate. Haven't decided. I'm trying to find another old one. Mine is semi-serviceable, but it's pretty badly dinged. Uh, and the other part of what we're gonna do today is the Marque roll pan. Uh, this is the same one that I had before. Really liked it, liked the quality of the metal, liked the way it fit up. So I went ahead and ordered the same thing again. One thing I will say though, is that the roll pan itself is like a hundred bucks, not too terrible, fine, whatever. But shipping on the thing is like 50 bucks, 48.95 or 45.95 or something like that. Um, that definitely sucks to increase the price of your item by like a full extra half uh, on top of what you already had to pay. So that's frustrating. So the actual cost of one of these things is about 150. Uh, Marque does nice quality stuff though. You guys have seen probably a lot about them. If you follow uh, Dino's, he's actually got the aluminum bed going on it. Now they don't make an aluminum variation of the roll pan yet. I was kind of hoping they would, uh, but we went ahead with the regular steel. Because I'm not using a normal rear support, this is actually one of the middle supports, uh, my holes don't come flush to anything. They actually overhang the base of the rail. So installation on these things, not bad at all. Like I said, it's the same one I had the first time around. I think that one took me, you know, 20 some minutes to install. It is gonna be a little different though because that cross sill in the back, like I mentioned, isn't the original rear, it's actually one of the mids. So we'll have to make a couple small changes. And as I alluded to before, that's one of the best parts about the roll pan install is that it is super quick. The whole thing took me about 20 minutes and that included me changing my mind and deciding to go ahead and weld the whole thing up. Uh, now I can come back and just wipe it down, get a light coat of paint on it. Remember, we're not painting the whole bed yet. It's gonna come back off the truck and get a full cone of paint at a later time. Uh, but for right now, I'm just gonna get a real basic coating on it to protect the metal. Probably gonna go ahead also and get a coating on this rear rail since well, considering how new everything else was, it looks a little dingy in comparison.
Well, that really came together pretty nicely. A quick coat of paint just to keep it protected. I've got my old tailgate sitting over here. I'm still looking for a new donor tailgate. I kind of don't want to buy a Reap Pop, but I might. Uh, but for now, just to round out the back of the truck, I'm gonna see if I can hang that old tailgate if it's straight enough uh, to get it hung on the back of the truck here. If I gotta massage it a little bit with a mallet, fine, because like I said, it's already pretty beat up. Uh, so it's not like I'm gonna make it much worse. We'll see if I can get it on the back of here, throw in some latches and stuff like that, and then at least have the back end of the truck rounded off for now. Okay, well the tailgate's on, and man, this thing is definitely worse for wear. Uh, she's taken a pretty solid beating since everything had happened with the accident, obviously, uh, but it's got a good bow to it. But you know what? It still fits enough on the back for now that I have a tailgate on the truck. Just threw a bolt in it temporarily. The uh, corner up here, that's all split. It's got a nice ripple through the middle. You can tell based on the, the gap there. This is bowed up and in. This here is all creased in, but that's okay because you know what? We won't be keeping this one forever. I'll be getting another new one and it's on here for now. This side doesn't even fit flush. I'm gonna have to throw a zip tie on that or something. It sticks out, I don't know, what's that, half inch or so? So uh, definitely not a permanent solution, uh, not something I'd wanna leave on there long term. Again, it's not a show truck, but I want it to look good. So we will probably get a replacement for that. Uh, but for now, it's on. The back of the truck is there. We've got fenders, we've got a roll pan, we've got a tailgate. The steps are on. So I think that's probably a naturally a pretty good place to call it here, guys. Uh, if you haven't checked out all the other update vlogs and stuff like that, I will have links in the description below. Definitely use the hashtag rebuild everything on all your projects, houses, cars, whatever. I'll give you guys a like, look for your posts there. Uh, as well as follow me on social media, which of course will be on the screen. Check out the Hatred Copter playlist, the Rebuild Everything playlist, my build over on the 67 to 72 Chevy truck forums. But for now, I think we'll cut it here, guys. We'll see you next time.